Hello there. This will be a quick tutorial uh, to show you how to make quick bakes uh, from Pivot Shader inside Blender 2.8 for use in Unreal Engine or Substance Painter. And go, getting to the point. Now we have this box already made, and I want to have uh, make quick high poly mesh and bake it uh, for use in games. Now need to add a new material. Uh, to be Piva shader. Okay, we have it. And now uh, I'm inside the shading tools and now I'm going to the a search bevel and here it is click on it and I want to have here 16 and we will see how much bevel we want to have connected normal of course and now uh, to uh, bevel shader is working only inside cycles will not render at all in uh, EV and for this you need to select render engine cycles or this will not have any effect and now we are moving to render mode and here we have this mm, maybe more metallic just for the preview and of course this is uh, uh, too much, definitely too much of the bevel shader. Uh, no, this is not good at all. Too. Oh, this one is looking quite good. Uh, but I would like to have extra more of it. Okay, I think this one is quite nice. Very smooth edges. Okay. Now we have this setup, and for bake, uh, we need to previously uh, triangulate it. Remember about this. Uh, next thing, we need to have extra copy of this mesh. I mean this one. Okay. And this will be our high high poly mesh with pivot shader and this one with normal one just simple material tutorial box okay and in this one um, this one mater material you need to make texture node image texture and new one texture tutorial normal okay we are set here maybe uh, less uh, just for quick render time okay we need to have this selected and now for baking this to that, uh, we need to have this one, the high poly mesh selected first, and then with shift uh, we click on the low poly mesh with this map selected. And now we are going to uh, rendering uh, part. Here it is and in bake we win, we want to select just normal and then here we will we have uh, tangent space and for use in unreal engine or substance painter in directx mode we want have this green channel to this settings or we will ha get some nasty artifacts in lighting Okay, 
then we need to select this one select it to active for this uh, setup to work and right distance to some really not big amount uh, and then we just click bake and here it is and it's baking very quickly okay going further here it is you can look uh, how it's looking and maybe change this uh, ray distance amount uh, if we get some uh, artifacts but if it's okay then just uh, you can save it here uh, I was looking for this uh, actually um, save as just here now going to Unreal Engine okay we want to get our uh, mesh here it is okay and import our normal map We are going to the shader of it now. We will see how the bake is looking inside the the engine itself. So I will add some metallic and roughness, the same as inside Blender. Maybe oh. okay, save it. And we will see how the back is looking and of course it's looking really awesome all the edges are perfectly round and yes bevel shader is making astounding effect very easily no high poly mesh making just bevel shader and this is how it's looking really nice For quicker, quicker pipeline. Okay. Now going to the uh, quickly to substance. We are making new project. Uh, we want to get this uh, our mesh. And don't forget about uh, normal map format, DirectX. Okay. And now we want to get our normal map. Okay, texture, project, and click here. Uh, in the first, it, it will be uh, selected layers. Go to texture set settings, and here we have all the maps. And we want to just tr select this one, and we will get our normal map inside working flawlessly and you can get uh, we need to bake mesh maps all the uh, different ones from the normal map and we can work on our textures we could do it uh, from from here uh, by send to substance painter and do it all this uh, again okay this is end of this tutorial Bye. Bye-bye.